Hey folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech, where we talk about stuff that gets the job done. And uh, we're going to talk about the uh, Xiaomi. I know another Xiaomi show. No, what? Well, they're good phones. Um, the Mi, or the Red Mi, Red Mi 8A. It's kind of the upgrade from the 7A, but it does cost more. And we're going to go over the differences. Uh, here's a picture real quick. And, uh, yeah, you'll notice it has a notch. Probably the biggest difference, uh, which isn't going to affect anything for most folks. So let's do the intro, and we'll be right back. So, I'm back, and we're going to talk about the Redmi 8A. Now, the biggest difference, of course, is not the notch, really. I mean, for me, it is. I hate notches. Uh, but I am also going to point out some things I missed in my 7A recommendation to you. Uh... And this one has the same limitations and advantages. Uh, overall, this is a great phone. 720 by 1520. So you're going to have less pixels per inch than you would get on the uh, 7A. But you're going to get... Uh, a 6.22 inch display. Okay, that's, that's important. You're going to get a 5,000 versus a 4,000 milliamp battery. That is the most important thing for you to consider. That's a boatload more, yeah, doing stuff. The cameras are roughly the same. You do get an 8 megapixel shooter on the front instead of the 5. Uh, both will get the job done for the average <coughs> budget consumer. You know, if you're into Huawei phones or, or Super Duper OnePlus 7 Pros, this isn't the phone for you. But if you're an entry-level user who wants to get the job done, you've never had a smartphone before, you don't want to invest a lot. Or you need one for your kids. You might be looking at it. All the links will be in the description below. Please, please read that and click on those links if you intend to buy something because I get a small kickback and that allows me to buy more tech. And then make sure you like and subscribe. I'll post something at the end. Mentioning that again. Now this phone is got the same processor, the octa-core. Uh, I believe it's a 439. You can play games on it. It's only got 2 gig of RAM. But it does come with 32 gig of storage. You're going to still want to upgrade to more storage. <coughs> now you can buy a bundle. <coughs> with a 32 gig card get you up to 64 gig total and then do the balancing act like I do oh wait you're an entry level user you're not shooting videos all day and you know yeah you don't care it'll probably get you by or you can poke around on Amazon and find a, a 128 gig and just never need more uh, the cameras are decent. I've uh, watched a few reviews. Uh, and the cool part is this thing has two SIM slots and a micro SD slot. And so does the 7A. I got it wrong in the 7A video. Of course, no one ever went back 
and uh, read about that, I'm sure, in the description, because no one ever does. Uh, it's a good phone. It's a solid phone. And uh, I will, uh, if you go to my channel, when you're done watching this, you, know, you just click on the high-end cheap tech, and you'll see liked videos and all that stuff. Click on the liked videos, and I will find some 8A reviews. I already found some. And uh, check it out. For uh, roughly 120 bucks, you might like this one. It's still a low price. It's not as low as the 7A. The 7A is still the budget king. It gets the job done. You're snapping pictures of your kids, your grandkids, your cats, your kittens, and your dog in your new car. Do you really need cameras that can zoom and do wide angle and shoot video at, like, 4K. Well, if you do, you're on the wrong damn channel. Please leave now. Um, so, in conclusion, and here's another picture of that phone. This is a really good phone. Now, remember, it does not have a super cool on the back fingerprint reader or even an in-screen fingerprint reader of course you didn't expect that at this price it's an IPS display it has excellent viewing angles it's going to be decently bright lower your expectations folks you're buying something that will get the job done you're probably going to be buying your smartphone so you can do Facebook and snap a picture and share things and talk. and Yeah, and it'll run all this. It's only got 2 gig of RAM. It will do games, albeit at lower resolution. And, uh, hmm, what else? I don't know what else to say. This will get the job done. <coughs> the link I've provided in the description below <coughs> will take you to the blue one. They have it in black and they have it in red. It takes a little longer to get this phone for some odd reason. It says due to shipping restrictions. Yeah. But you still get it on Prime for free if you have Prime. Uh, on Amazon. So make sure you use my links so I get a kickback. And as usual, if you found this information useful, informative, in any way, just thumbs up, share the video, put it on Twitter. If you're one of my reviewers I trust, It'd be nice if all of you, you know, a little quid pro quo here, I promote all of your stuff. And tonight I decided to do my stuff first before I even watched yours. It'd be nice if you'd, uh, you know, link me on Twitter or wherever. That'd be very cool. And make sure you subscribe so you get notified. I'll click the little bell icon. And uh, after that, ah, that's all I got for tonight. We'll have something tomorrow. Everyone have a fantastic night. Catch you in the next one. And here we go, turning off the video using the Empow tripod remote.